and welcome back. I have some news to share with you guys regarding brand new home sales in the US uh, for August. This is because the US Census Bureau just announced a new report today, which is the 27th of September for August new single family home sales, which by the way, shattered expectations. However, in today's video, I'm gonna take a deep dive into this to share with you guys what exactly is going on and why new home sales increased greatly in August. And with that said, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel just yet, I invite you to do so. I post frequent housing market updates so you guys can be more informed. And with that said, let's begin today's video. So here's the actual report from the US Census Bureau. And this, by the way, is only for new single family houses uh, for August, 2022. So it excludes existing houses. And of course, it excludes multifamily as well. And by the way, a friendly reminder here that a new home sale is a deposit taken or a sales agreement signed between a home buyer and a home builder. And this can occur prior to a permit being issued. In other words, a sale can occur for a dirt lot in which the home is not gonna be built for six to 12 months from now. And also in stark contrast, it could be a new home sale for a completed house as well. And with that said, let's talk a little bit more about new home sales in the US. So these are in thousands of units. So right now, 685,000 uh, new home sales occurred in August of 2022, but these are an annualized rate though. So there's a few things I wanna talk about regarding this number here. At 685 new single family home sales on an annualized basis for August. Uh, this is the um, highest levels we've seen since March of this year, when we had 707,000 uh, home sales. However, though, the street was forecasting for 500,000 home sales in August, so at 685,000, that's well above expectations. Compared to one year ago, the number of home sales is more or less flat. So 685,000 right now compared to 686,000 one year ago. But look at this giant increase of home sales uh, on a month to month basis. An increase by 28.8% compared to July, 2022. There's a couple of things I wanna mention regarding this because even with this huge increase of almost 29% on a month over month basis, we're still down 14.1% year to date. And secondly, what you should be aware of as well is that these are based on contracts signed between home builders and home sellers for the month of August. But what happened in August? Mortgage rates were very low compared to levels we have right now. So for example, for the majority of August, rates were below 5.7%. Now rates are above 7%. On top of this, builders are offering more incentives for home buyers right now in the form of closing cost credits, uh, free builder upgrades, and also uh, willing to buy down their mortgage rate in order to entice them to buy a house. Also, in some cases, builders have been reducing their prices of their houses as well in order to generate home sales. So let me share what I mean by this. According to the Mortgage News Daily, as of today, mortgage rates are now at 20-year highs. The average 30 year fix right now is 7.08%. This is far different compared to August of this year because look at this. Uh, on August 1st, uh, rates were at 5.05%. And rates really didn't get above 5.5% until we hit the 19th of August. Therefore, for the first 18 days of August, rates were at or below 5.5%. After that time period, rates did increase, but they didn't surpass 6%. So look at this. On the 18th, rates were at 5.48%. They increased to uh, what 5.84% on the 24th of August. And they ended the year, or ended the month, I should say, at 5.99%. Therefore, for the vast majority of August, rates were below 5.72%. And fast forward to a September 1st, rates increased to 6.23%. And by the way, rates have been above 6% um, every single day in September so far, except for September 9th, as well as September 12th. So because mortgage rates were at low levels for the majority of August, this caused home sales or new home sales to spike in August as well. I noticed that Robert Dietz, who's the uh, chief economist for the National Association of Home Builders, he uh, got it spot on here because he says, a brief decline in mortgage rates helped to boost new home sales in August, but sales are expected to move lower in the months ahead as rates have moved much higher and builder sediment continues to fall due to declining housing affordability and ongoing supply chain bottlenecks. Additionally, as sales cancellation rates increase, it is important to keep in mind that the Census Bureau does not incorporate cancellation data. According to a recent uh, National Association of Home Builders surveys, new home sale cancellations were approximately 25% in late August. 
Therefore, because cancellations have been increasing, it's likely that the uh, number of home sales that the Census Bureau is reporting is likely overstated. In any case, I wanna mention this right off the bat because uh, I would imagine a lot of people are gonna be looking at this number here where a huge gain of almost 30% of new home sales is gonna cause people to say that this housing market is very healthy and we're moving in the right direction. But when you stop and actually look at the data, it makes sense that we have an increase of home sales due to a, a decrease in mortgage rates that we saw in the first half of August. And speaking of home sales, it varied quite a bit by region. So in the Northeast, new home sales increased by almost 67%, uh, whereas in the West, uh, increased by 27%, the South increased by 29.4%. It also varied greatly compared to one year ago, uh, because look at this, in the Northeast, decreased by almost 22%, whereas in the West, decreased by 24%. And in the South, new home sales increased by 10.4%. All right, changing gears slightly, let's talk about housing inventory for brand new single family houses. So we have 461,000 uh, new single family houses that are, are for sale uh, as of the end of August. That's only a 0.4% increase from last month, uh, where we had 459,000, but a huge increase of 23.3% on a year-over-year -year basis though. And have a look at this, because here's Uncle Fred's website right here. Uh, 461,000 is a total number of single family houses for sale. This is the highest levels since March of 2008, where we had 470,000. Also, the month supply is sitting at 8.1 months. This is down greatly from last month, a decrease by 22% uh, from July 2022, but still remaining very much elevated, uh, historically speaking, also compared to one year ago, because we're still up 25% uh, from August of 2021. However, though, at 8.1 months, these are the lowest levels we've seen since March of this year. And here's a graph showing just that. At 8.1 months right now, far below 10.4 uh, that we saw last month, uh, but on par with levels we saw uh, more or less back in March of 2022 when the month supply was seven months. And when zooming out over the past 10 years, uh, current levels right now at 8.1 months is still very, very high historically speaking. And this is due to a pullback in home buying demand, but also due to construction delays that home builders are facing right now. All right, let's talk about home prices for newly built single family houses. Um, as of August, the median sold price was $436,800. This is down from $466,000 last month. In other words, the median sold price decreased by about 6% uh, from July 2022. One thing I wanna mention regarding this is that it's not unusual to see huge fluctuations in the median sold price uh, in the US. So look at this, as of June, the median sold price was 428,000. The month before that, it was 450,000. And also in July, it jumped from 428,000 to 466,000. And part of the reason why the median sold price for brand new houses fluctuates so much is that we don't have as many um, new home sales compared to existing home sales. So for 2021, we had 771,000 new single family home sales. Uh, compare that to existing home sales, we had 6.1 million. Also, part of the reason why we may have seen this 6% decrease in the median sold price compared to one month ago is due to this right here. This is the percent distribution of home sales by price range. In August, 22% of all home sales were in the range of 500,000 to 749,000. Last month, that number was 31%. Also on a side note here, uh, one of the reasons why the median sold price is so much higher right now compared to one year ago, or compared to 2020, for example, is this right here. So for August 2022, 14% of all home sales were for over $750,000. Compare this to 2020, the share was only 5%. Therefore, the share of houses that sold for over 750,000 uh, tripled from 2020 until August of this year. Also in stark contrast, look at houses that sold in the range of 200,000 to more or less 300,000. In 2020, that share was 31%. In August, 2021, it was 24%. But look at this year, only 11% share of houses that sold in this range. 
The Census Bureau also reports the total number of houses that sold and also the ones that are still for sale by stage of construction. So here's the number of houses that sold, again, 685,000. And we also have 461,000 that are for sale. They break it down by not started, under construction, and completed. So not started means um, houses that have not started construction. Under construction is self-explanatory. And completed houses, of course, means that the house is completed and it's ready for a buyer to move into the house. So out of the total number of home sales for August, approximately 293,000 uh, came from houses under construction. And this, by the way, is the highest numbers since May of this year when we had 344,000 uh, home sales that were under construction. There was also 201 home sales on an annualized basis uh, for completed houses. Now, this is the highest levels since December of last year. So that's a breakdown by houses that sold. Let's look at houses that are actually for sale. Again, 461,000 is the a number of houses for sale right now. And out of that 461,000, approximately 306,000 are under construction right now. And this 306,000 number right here represents approximately 66% in the total number of houses for sale. Also, for the number of houses for sale that are completed, we have approximately 49,000 of those houses. Uh, you can see that right here. And I actually had, had a note right here because this is the fifth consecutive month of increases and also a 53% increase from last August. This is because last August, we only had 34,000 completed houses that were for sale. Now there's 49,000. It's important to note here that even though the number of houses completed that are still for sale have been increasing, uh, this number right here at 49,000 only represents about 11% in the total number of houses for sale. On top of that, have a look at this. Uh, because right here, this column right here, is a median number of months for sale since completion. So more or less the housing supply of houses that are completed. So right now, the month supply for completed houses is only 1.7 months. And this, by the way, at 1.7 months is far below 2020 as well as 2021. And with that said, please comment below with your biggest takeaways from today's video. Also, if you guys got any value out of this video whatsoever, then please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. Hope you guys have an awesome day and look forward to seeing you on the next video.